Hey everyone, happy Thursday. Those spotty showers that we had earlier have for the most part moved on. There are some clouds that are spitting out a couple little drizzles here or there, but we've quieted down a little bit. We will also see a little bit of sunshine coming back out. Just a little bit of it over northern New York and soon over the Champlain Valley and hints of that throughout the rest of the day here. But more clouds than sun into the afternoon hours as we sit kind of in the middle of this big system. The showers this morning prompted by a warm front. Then you've got the main bulk of this system, the more, more potent part of it off to the west of us. And as this whole thing takes its another takes the next two or three days to get through our region. Uh, we will have those chances for rain in the next several days. And with the arrival of that system, we also have a good amount of wind. Wind gusts right now in Burlington are over 40 miles per hour, over 30 miles per hour in Plattsburgh, Middlebury and Rutland. So very gusty out there and that's out of the south. So it's actually pulling in that warmer air. I mentioned the warm front, of course, that's going to be bringing us temperatures already into the mid 50s now in the Champlain Valley. It's a brisk mid 50 though when you add in that wind and of course the kind of gloom factor that we have with a lot of those clouds. But when a little bit of sun comes out at times, hopefully it's not too bad, but certainly count on it not feeling quite as warm as it did yesterday when you factor in the wind and the clouds as opposed to the sun we had yesterday. We'll sit in these mid and upper 50s all the way through about the time you're headed home from work and then from there, not a huge drop into tomorrow. We have a lot more of that warmer air being built in thanks to that southerly wind. Uh, so do count on again some spot showers on and off here or there throughout the rest of the afternoon hours and maybe into this evening, but no washout for today. I've been saying that the last couple of days between today and for most of tomorrow's rain, it's just going to be spotty light stuff, kind of like we had earlier this morning at most. So you can see tomorrow morning, a couple little showers around. The bulk of the day is mostly dry and like today you may even find some sun. You head into the evening hours though, Friday night and into overnight. Watch some of these pockets of heavy rain fill out a little bit towards midnight. You're going to find some downpours, maybe some gusty winds out of that. And that's going to last through midnight and into early on Saturday morning. Now that is the window, the timing of which we're expecting the most widespread and the heaviest of that rain. And that is not good for the flood potential. So we're watching for that potential thanks to plenty of rain that's going to be on the way. We're looking at over the next few days, an inch to an inch and a half or maybe even some locally higher amounts of that rain. Now add that into the very wet, saturated ground that we already have from earlier this week's rain and flooding, and then add that to the snow melt that we're going to get with the warm up we have headed our way to. And that's just a bad combination. So again, Friday night into Saturday morning and then on and off throughout the day Saturday, periods of rain continue. So it's going to be a very wet first half of the weekend. Showers on Sunday, better chance for those further east, but we'll find some scattered showers on and off throughout the rest of the area for your Easter Sunday. Here's that flood watch starts Friday night, goes through Saturday and into Sunday morning for the entire region. And we could be looking at fast moving and overflowing streams and rivers similar to how we had earlier this week. It could be pretty nasty. And this is why look at all this rain that's going to add up in the coming days. A lot of places over that inch mark. So please, you guys, we will have you guys updated at knees as needed with those flood conditions through the weekend. Just make sure you have a plan and are paying attention. There's that warm air it comes with. We'll be in the mid 60s after that. We should dry up at least a little bit at times later next week, but the unsettled weather pattern sticks around for a few more days. Really important to be ready for a lot more water coming. It sounds like maybe some more flooding and that sort of thing. Yeah, exactly. That's absolutely the thing we're watching in the next few days. So just be alert. Stay tuned here on air and we're online. Of course, with any information you guys need, just have a plan. That's that's a good thing to take out of this.